comfy and be romanced. You know how it is. You know how it be. Eh. Okay. So. Today, we're gonna play Monster Prom. And, uh, that's, that's what we're doing. We're gonna play Monster Prom today. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna have a lovely... just me. Do I want a 30 minute game or a 60 minute game? Let's do a 60 minute game for our first run through. Ah, spooky high school. The sweetest years of our lives. Back then we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid. Always willing to give life. Oh, always willing to live life to the fullest. Invite the sun to the party of its life. We'll have so many hilarious adventures that the sun will eventually become cooler. Global warming is real. I invented it. And now science is claiming authorship because science is a lame copycat with no original ideas. Uh, I do believe in global warming, but I do like this answer the best. It is a good answer. Uh, which is the coolest mythological creature? A sphinx who super turns up and ready to party, and she wraps all her riddles. She still kills you if you don't answer them correctly, but she wraps the riddles I like that. This weird creature I drew when I was six, and which is clearly super derivative from other mythological creatures, but it's super cool, and it's my OC and my spirit animal, okay? <laughs> Oh, yeah, there's a party. I'm capable of doing an overdose of some sort. 
head of their future society. Anything on fire or a weapon, you don't know, a weapon on fire, a silly toy that makes silly noises, the abstract concept of gratefulness. I feel like this is the answer you would give if you were just a complete dick. Oh dear. This should go well. I mean, I guess we're going to go great. I'm very creative, apparently. I'm also a complete dick.
Hulu Flash is rapidly getting ready to disappear. We'll sit here in some kind of video game. No time to contemplate the nature of existence. Pick some food before it's all gone. Garlic, rice, and honey water. Uh, and the other cheese, steaks, and meat chips. Okay, at least not one of them, right? I did some of the burgers in the kitchen and a batch of garlic, rice, and honey. Other students are super excited to eat something besides Mephistopheles. Oh, Mephistopheles plan the cafeteria is The head chef herself tries to stop you, but you convince her to try some of your rice instead. The holy word kills for instance. Until the school controller position, you get to be the chef. You put drugs in everyone's food, but don't really remember the next few days. When you cook and turn, even the simplest of things, it's a long day then. And you're the best, you get plus four fun. Welcome to my little shop. Buy some shit. I have shit that will boost your stats, shit that will lead you into stupid adventures, and even some shit that might be much needed at some very specific moments. So take a look. Oh, I have no money. That's right, don't I? I know the body one. Literally just a white blanket, that's right, isn't it? You have to be an idiot to mistake this red post because most of our classmates are idiots. Have a good one. Wine or not. Alas, 
success in my sections of learning that I'm learning how to be good with the wine. Not happy about it. All I know is that I'm going to be in the glass of that one. Aaron points at a bottle with Polly's toilet on experience someone we have to help us judge which one is best. You know nothing about wine, but you're pretty sure most home winners just mixed up up anyway. You probably recommend Red Sangria, if you guys see food in the mud. Ah, you must have great seafood, actually. The ten the tan agency is for the best of Alvin Hart Elegant. An elegant way to pass the taste of poison, perfect for diplomatic missions. Okay, so that feels like it's all the way up her You know, because the log is dark with my soul. God, this guy is trash. And I always avoided sangria because the little bits of fruit and lady seem inauthentic. But I suppose the clues in the title is this is this truly is a new dawn for a one. Well, not dawn for a but let's say a new dusk. Yes, a new dusk for a wine for As someone who does not literally drink blood, I'm afraid I can't share your enthusiasm. But I do like to imagine vampires getting chunks of fruit stuck between their fangs. Liam ignores her. He's too busy gazing at the in his glass. He's a little drunk, but you don't judge. Thank you. 
closer to the sun. Greetings, beautiful high schoolers. It is I, the interdimensional prince. I'm here to rescue you from your mundane existence. Just sign this marriage papers. Not this guy, though. Look! Whoa. Yes, an underworld specter. This again. What again? William, this is really a kick ass powerful ghost. Look at its face. It's so dead, man. No expression at all. That's because it's not a face, it's a sheet with two holes cut in it. Man, I wish my face had two holes cut in it. That would be fucking metal. No, listen, it's not a face. It's a ghost friend to help us save us from this interdimensional creep. Yeah, do something. Something ghost. Ooh, for a rocket. <laughs> ah. So creative. Did you see that? Real goosebumps. This fucker doesn't fuck around. My apologies, we don't have scores. What exactly is boo? We don't have that many ghosts in our room. It's a super spooky ghost thing. You should run for your life. Yeah, interdimensional loser. It's a super legit ghost thing. This ghost probably about to unleash its ghostly rage upon me. You ready for a hundred years of misery? She just said boo. Stop all the stupidity. Beautiful Liam has a point. Yet yeah, fierce Damien and wonderful Miranda show so much energy in their affirmation that I cannot help but believe it. Vocal energy is my main criteria when following my various advisors and advice. So, today I shall retreat to my dimension. But fear not, my beloved high school versus each dimensional prince will be back for you. And so he disappears into another annoying portal. So metal ghost person, you made him retreat with a single blue. So brave. He retreated because of what YouTube videos told him. He said so in front of us just a minute ago. Liam, really, sometimes I wish your face was just a sheet with two holes cut in it so that so that you couldn't say Whatever. Will those friends save the day? Yeah. Huzzah! They leave, running and screaming about how cool you are. <laughs> With your classics, really. Anyway, you can post two and lost my charm. Alright. Clearly charm. I guess I need to be, I need to be smarter. Is the thing. Jelly dessert for a transcendent for transcendent F for a transcendent fan. F O O D P I C Ride those kicks to victory. What what does that even mean? When I say food, you say pick. Food, no. Food, stop. Two, four, picks, eight. Food do we appreciate food picks. Food picks. Oh, cease this incessant chanting this instant. What? But I'm trying to help you take the best food pick. You've been trying to take this food pick for like 20 minutes now. You gotta snap a pic so you can eat your tasty food. I don't eat Scott. I only order this food so I can take pictures of it and you're not helping. I know. I know. My cheerleading just isn't good enough. What I need is a cheer partner to take me to the next level. No. What you need is a swift kick in the head. But it's too late. Scott's already chosen you as his cheer partner. Now it's up to you what the two of you will do. We gotta pick Liam up and toss him through the air. It's the only way to really end up. Liam's gonna fix our art, so we've got to use art to cheer him on. The quiet art. Mime. Let's do that one. Yeah. Liam's got into a totally artistic, totally silent mime cheer that involves an invisible rope and a visible dog sled and a visible hot dog buffet. He eventually leaves Scott trapped inside a tiny box and move with Liam to another table. Thanks for saving me from that. True food photography, or as I call it, the food fo photography does it alignments. Cannot be rushed. What? Are you sure he's okay over there in that box? Oh. Oh, ah! Uh, I'm pretty sure he's fine. Feeling him out at the end of lunch. He looks your face. But most importantly, Liam tags you in his triumphant food pit. Is this for real? Monster, it's a good 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 mon
to fight. This guy takes the magazine from you and punches it. Hooray! Let's go solve another of the world's major problems. No, Scott, we're still just as warriors. You see, our name, ever since our major success with the Bengals go ahead debacle, we've taken it upon ourselves to stand up against injustice by punching magazines. No, Scott. As you no doubt notice, Monster Magazine, the sexiest monster alive this year, is Count Victor Von Busselbar, the werewolf prince slash bodybuilder. That makes him the fifth world werewolf fighter in the world. What about those of us who are familiar with the series? What of our reputation? Our representation? So now we're endeavoring to get Monster Magazine to name someone from a more marginalized community as their sexiest creatures of that. That's easy. All you need to solve a woman's body and the teacher is forever in this. Think our own virgin magazine and each other through like a true cover out of the other. Lean heavily into the warrior part of store monster magazine. Okay, I am not going on for that. So what a brilliant idea. Three women to accomplish are definitely an underserved population. I've played sports games and some, exactly like that, is always wanted to be a model. I never thought anyone would want to take pictures of them. Now we can. All the pictures and you can mock up with your own monster magazine. It goes hella viral, and before long it becomes more celebrated than the actual monster magazine. Pretty soon after, you get a letter from the editor and chief officially admitted to being the biggest of superiority. I really appreciate this magazine and headquarters to you. I have a lot of power. Sweet! Now you have a magazine, which is the reason you posted money. Hey, I know you're about to move on to your next adventure, but I just wanted to say, really quick. That's pretty much the only girls in school shape differently than the rest of our classmates. It's really nice to see that we do a proper celebrated over our world where we'll find them. It gives us hope too, you know? Aw, that was actually really sweet. The heaven is much cooler when they're not babbling on and on about that and the world where she can expect to be help with them. It's way more fun to interact with the classmates when they're not being here instead. That day, the teacher is just tired of teaching, so she re refers to the classic technique of active issue and putting on some kind of historical TV show at the end of March. But you don't expect to that, it's super effective. God bless the golden era of television. The TV show is compelling, thanks to the ridiculous amount of nudity and bloodshed, and at that time, it actually learned a lot about history. We get plus two smarts. You see Liam staring at himself on the side of the room. Maybe one of his favorite bands signed to a mainstream record label over the exact shirt Liam wearing was featured in on a magazine cover. He decides to check. You know Star Kicker, that bio website where people crowdfund projects not good enough to get real investors. Wow, thanks Liam. Do you not know why you exist? Well, today I found something of interest a time machine. I mean, it's clearly another terrible over promise that will be released at least a decade after the due date. In the end, it would be way shittier than promise than a toaster attached to a clock. A toaster attached to a clock. Genius! You just really write down the idea in your one billion bucks notebook. Let's see if you can beat those guys to market. But I was sighing deeply because I couldn't help but think, supposing I were to acquire such a machine, I wonder where in time would I go? Suspenders and a bow tie? No one's done that yet because no one else exists. Breathing here? So cliche. Breathing at 3.85 million BC? Revolutionary. Never done before. Best of all, no one will criticize my vintage eyeglass collection because there won't be any. Aww. Liam immediately funnels all his money into the time machine project for the sake of your budding romance. You hope the creators never share. In the meantime, you need most of this one's up to me. Oh no! I made a mistake! I wanted to sit next to the- Damn it. You can't eat that. Watch me. 
First of all, it's made of one seamless piece of obsidian, so it's low calorie. And second of all, it's a glitch's part of it, part of this balanced breakfast. It's lunch. You're just jealous. No, I'm nervous, nervous that you're going to eat that, get possessed by a ledge and kill us all. Well, I'm nervous that it's not gonna happen. Looks like these two are at an impasse. Maybe you can solve the dispute of scores for and right at the same time. Damn it, don't eat that you're nervous, but it seems like Brian. Seal-shaped beanie babies stuffed with tofu and pig's blood. The thing is, keep a sack of baby seal decoys in case you get a well back. I applaud your crafting set of high regard for animal life. Let's go return this for lack of hurry to the virus put together. And then to being the third worst one, I do not even understand Score! Damn, roses aren't a valid currency for stat in this game. Anyway, check your computer. 
would act to see if this in transit, so you can point this far. Hmm, it seems seven roses equals two creativity points. Sweet, <laughs> plus two creativity. Afterwards, Liam walks up to the extremely nonchalant way. It's ridiculous how little he cares about this world. After considerable thought, I've come to the conclusion that you're not a complete poser. And seeing as I could use a partner for my tragic late, hip, late night excursions, consider yourself invited. Tonight, 3 a.m., I'm sure you'll have no trouble coming up with an appropriate underground destination. I mean, it's not like I don't know any cool places to go or anything, I just want to go through an office group, so. Liam vanishes into a cloud of mist. Thanks. You've got to allow us to choose the returning spot of his own <laughs> uh, honestly, I that's wrong. I'm not bold enough! There is no club in the center of the earth, it's just the center of the earth, that's all. Ag, my skin, why did you think this was the club here? Why would anyone think there was a club? This is literally the most hospitable place on the earth. You have no idea why you thought that, but you do know you're just going to spin grass if the reason is why someone's smart, so why does one think this? No! Oh, I knew I knew it was wrong. He's so, so mad at me, so I even like go hang out. But finally, our player has been well branded to the this which is already very busy, obviously. Have you found it yet? I'm trying it. I'm finding the perfect silverware for your cafeteria for breakfast and art, not science. How hard can it be? It's just silverware. Just silverware? And I suppose the food in your food pick is just food. No, it's a metaphor for urban consumption in a post post postmodern industrialized mega society. All my silverware is a metaphor for silverware. Yes. Is that not enough? It's more than enough, but can we hurry it along? The lighting is perfect right now and I don't want to lose it. You're a bit of a silverware aficionado yourself. Maybe you can speed up the selection process while simultaneously demonstrating the knowledge. Silver, a pineapple. Yeah, ah, filial. Ah! Yes, it was manufactured thusly by the palace of Quinsmiths. Don't tell me that. It makes it less authentic. Just place it in the correct location for my food pick. Very well. The correct location is across the plate, as is, as if left haphazardly. I'll enjoy the delicious meal. So nonchalant, I love it. Liam's so impressed with your selection, he spends hours with your with you after lunch picking out filters. You missed last but it's worth it. I gotta get my butts in class. Like now, because I am not smart. That day you learn a ton of spells that are at all as cool as they are seemingly useless. A spell to remove stickers and stickers. A spell to turn chocolate and vanilla ice cream into vanilla and chocolate. A spell to gain plus two smarts. You actually used that last spell and gain plus two smarts. Start doing something productive. Or you could put your blanket, put on your blanket, and get up to some good old ghost shenanigans. You're looking for someone, but you run into the person that might finally see through your ghost of deception, apart from Gordon. Hiya! Wait, what's this? Another ghost? No, I can't believe this. Finally, someone else notices this is clearly just a name wearing a I can't believe it because it's just too cool to be true. Come on, it's not cool nor true. Our cool new ghost friend over all your jealousy. So tell me, how did you die? We have to share so much ghost gossip or ghost sick, as I like to call it. Hmm, good question. Time to end a lie with another bigger lie. I was offered a sacrifice to the god of party. I only tell how I died on the third day. Who? Ah, uh, what? That's probably just a big lie. I bet you some idiot decided to wear blankets and take ghosts. Finally! And you died in a stupid way like it's just standing under that blanket. And you were cursed for dying in such a stupid way with the ironic punishment of having to wander the world. It's very realistic ghost. You are literally a ghost. You know what ghosts are supposed to look like. I know what this sexy ghost looks like right now. It's a 
disappointed. Bye. And she faces out. I swear you're making my life miserable, you'd like a leg moron. Your life is miserable now. You totally lost minus fun minus two fun and minus one charm. Oh no, I might not be fun enough. I'm gonna ask Liam. I swear to God. Yeah, I guess. Are you going to stop wearing a blanket at some point? I do have to hand it to you. What a performance. It's like the blanket covered yourself while uncovering your classic stupidity. Look at me. I think I might fall for this stupid blanket thing. You have a great time together. Prom night is magical. Liam praises how you wear a blanket ironically. Little does he know that you're wearing it unironically. <laughs> likely to empower her own children to survive. If idiots could find this place in your Nice. Alright, that was pretty fun. Oh, Bronze Nazareth. Classes for nerds. Classes, class is good! I enjoy class. I got romanced. Those six weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After the monster prom, what is going on there with that lady? After the monster prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling with friendship, and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does, life happened, and it was wonderful. Liam started an iconic class band that broke all conventions. Your latest album has been a hit. It has no songs at all. The album is actually just a banana set on fire. Sure, Liam doesn't care if you don't get it. Miranda used her best knowledge of serfs to get a job at the best serfs for other people. But surprisingly, she ended up leaving her serfs to do the work because my cat just like screaming. Yes, yes. I'm so, so cool and played the romance games on the internet. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, she ended up leaving her serves to do the work. Holly graduated from doing lots of and, and now appears to hallucinate people and access their spiritual animal, spirit animal. For those six weeks, the monster prom seemed larger than life, and then it was gone, just like that. The battle for monster prom might have ended then, but there were plenty of battles left in that war called the once again, we were young and unafraid and we were ready to start. What if I told you that the worst was gonna end? Unlocked, you just unlocked an erotic fanfic about dragons. This is about to get weird. Unlocked, you've unlocked a few images in the gallery. Let's check out our gallery. Hey, yeah, this guy. It's cool. <laughs> Ghost me. High school, the sweetest years of our lives. Oh, we can skip this. I like it. I am. Yeah, Brian's fine. Call me a geek. And we had to experience this ultimate challenge. Monster Prom. And everybody's hot. Well, skip this part. 
walking away from rad explosions and they don't look at the explosions, they don't give a fuck about the explosions, they reflect on life and love, but it's super dope and kick-ass because they do so walking away from never ending explosions. The most influential Russian novelist of the, I don't know, something century have gone nuts. They don't remember anything about last night and now they can't find the manuscript of the brothers car mazal and just it does it don't go ah that's good don't get i can't pronounce what's good see ah has to deliver it today something about superheroes a love triangle between a beautiful yet somehow relatable girl who she's always stating she's a mess and two of the super hot superheroes which are also like vampires or parents but we're both instant uh i guess that one so wealthy Alright, we gotta be wealthy this round. School is outdated and lame. We need a new school subject ASAP. Critical thought. I mean, damn, this country theory is a the subject for that schools. Turning people into puppets through emotional warfare and deception. How to correctly punch a crocodile without a terrible consequence. one. Alright. The world will end tomorrow. What will we do today? 100 push ups. Guys, party if there were no tomorrow. So who cares? I'll finish my novel. Whoever comes after the end should know my legacy. It's okay. We have to do to take care of you. We'll come to the commoners. They always tell you the world is ending. I'll profit on other people's hysteria. Nobody ends. The world will be on the world's end. Alright. Alright. I'm cold, unfeeling lizard woman. It is time. So we're smart. like to go on a date tonight with the hottest dogs ever to not be literal hot dogs. I wouldn't at all. This is not at all how I like my courtships to begin. Where are the jewels? Where are the flowers? Where are the bloody heads of my enemies? Oh man, we'll show you courtship on the court when we win on the court at sports. We'll show you sportship, courtship. Every time I think the guys at the school can get dumber. Oh, I get it. You're both shot. Don't worry. Our barks are worse than our bites. Except when we're doing sports, because then we bring it. Yeah. But if neither of you have the confidence to say which one wants to go out with us tonight, we can just choose for you. Yikes. Like, they're relatively well-intentioned, but you should definitely step in and say Tonight, I really can't. I'm too convinced to serve D and they are so good for me. Miranda's eyes light up with an egg. Sertia Mare is a little girl I always wanted to be an awkward journalist. Of course you did. Until I realized it required hard work and discipline, at which point I decided I was much happier as a princess. But I still love watching it. How thoughtful of you to procure tickets for me and my favorite maid servant. I'll tell you all about it. Haha, <laughs> shut down! Let's go write a list of jokes we can make about this awkward loser. Whatever, you still made Miranda super happy. The stretch of the whole pack, so when we can plus two charm, that was pretty to me. I did not mean to do that. so it's important for all of us to agree before we release the Jeep. Hope you all, you've already expressed your wish for a secret hideout when you're ready for a giant food ball table. Faith is argued just as fervently for world peace, but as a leader, I think the most sensible option is a mystic sword that will instantly slay the season's big bad. And hoping Faith immediately object to Joy calling herself the leader and all, the three suit involved into a shouting match. Amidst the commotion, you can't help but notice that the wishing line is totally unguarded. Without really thinking about it, as if you ever do, you rub the lamp for this genie and wish for a bag full of quarters, a machine that can successfully reheat french fries. I guess a bag full of quarters is what I'm about. 
out today. Wish granted, he was a genie, and you feel the reassuring weight of a bag full of quarters in your lap. Seriously, you can wish for anything you wish for a bag full of quarters. What did you need to do? Laundry? Do you really like arcades? Planning to hit somebody over the head? You know if you just really like quarters. So you're saying we brave the fire lakes of lower wrath to you had seen the Serpentina and the accountants of Babylon, just so you can have a bag of quarters. Basically, and boy was it worth it for your request. These quarters have gotta be worth at least four money. We get mad money this round. Uh, let's go to the Let's face it, you're probably gonna end up losing your money in some stupid way anyway. Why not spend it here first? It's just called being smart. Uh, I need Dragon Heat. It's a classic. It's so cheesy and stupid that you just can't stop reading it. I never thought I would say this, but now I'm super into Dragon Abs. We've already done the ghost one. I don't think I'm this one light. Well, actually, there are many better spells, but you know what I mean, right? Oh. oh no, I didn't need to do that. What a throw away. Ooh, I gotta. Oh, jeez. Something much better. You're a party sniper, gun haver. I'm a, you know, I'm a big gun haver. A gun haver is that even a class? Practically everyone has guns. You really just have the guns to actually have. Holy shit! How can you even carry that many guns? Why are you allowed to have them in school? You have your rad biceps thing for the former, and Bob Stromberg's is a strong second and then the production is the latter. Okay, well, do you have silver bullets? Worlds are only one of those things. Man, there isn't a color bullet that you don't. Um, Alright, let's uh, go on an adventure. Travel together to Wall Street where you shoot the Wall Street with the guns. Alright then, um, thank you, and now go ahead and let's get it away from you. That's alright. Totally is. Gotta be just monster off this for the most I don't know what's happening. I don't know what route I'm on here. Alright, let's see what we got going on. Very bold, and I've got some money. Let's spend money, I guess. Today you spend time in the land where the PCs match, and you start the career. You just see lots of people with a sensationalist video and impossible promises. Thanks. You get a lot of money, but almost all you to go across and you keep going to money. You're wandering down the hallway reading the dragon key as discreetly as you can, which apparently isn't very because Polly and Barrett caught this unlikely. Uh, you are actually actually reading a lot of fiction about dragons. Because we love Dragon Heat. I'm all about 19th century Russian literature, but a ghost girl can't say no to some erotic fanfiction. Am I right? I will literally be working on Morgana Von Restrike cosplay all week. Don't worry about why. Speak for yourself, Polly. I don't, I've never, okay, fine, I'm gonna read Dragon Heat, but I don't go around telling at people. Psh, we're clearly safe with him. A fellow dragon file can always be interested. Are you sure? I mean, anyone who's Dragon Heat must have a wicked mind. 297 chapters and counting, and it still manages to amaze me with new levels of wrong. Yeah, right? I fucking love it. Yet, I must admit, I'm a bit vanilla when it comes to play game chapters. Mine is the one where Harold McDomcard, Horus, the Hydra, deranged Draco, Delacour, have to rest at the end after the Choking Bay adventure. It's only discovered they have just one available bed. There's only one bed, the classic fanfic trick that never fails. 
Ha, yes, that one is good. I personally prefer the one where Vanessa Rhea unmasks her mass savior after a passionate kiss only to discover it's herself and then it's totally bad. I'm not a fan of time travel, but sign me up for some good self sex Amen. What about you, Brian? What's your favorite story arc? Nothing to worry about. You should be revealing your favorite kinks to us. No pressure. Easy as Excalibur arc when they want to discover the chosen one who can control the mythical Excalibur dildo and they have to super or <laughs> super orgy so everyone can have their turn with the dildo. What about this is Susan Chapter I've written myself? Oh What? Let me see. Farrah takes the pages from your hands and they both start reading. They devour your piece of art in mere minutes. Just wow. Yeah, boo, this is wonderful. So full of twists, Harold will unsettled from being betrothed to the evil queen, Rose Queen. Then it turns out that the insecurity wasn't due to marrying his immoral enemy, but because he didn't know if he could plead for a sexual dragoness of the Eight Kingdoms, kind of nice that he showed him so vulnerable. So he goes and sticks his dick into a pie to practice classic, but then, oh no, the magic property of his dick grabbed the pie life. Mind blown. Yes, I thought for a moment it was a cheap trick for comedic purposes, but then you went all in with the love triangle between Harold the Queen and the Pie. I must applaud your boldness there and the level of depth in the emotions I never expected from a fanfic of a fanfic. Also, sick tons of pie sex that really knows how to use its pie hole. Give me one second, guys, I'll be right back. No, oh, I just lowered my mic audio. It's not what I meant. Dragon fanfic, sweetheart. You should post it. You'll be the king of AO3 in no time. Yes, a brilliant deviant mind is definitely arousing. Fuck yeah, it is. Maybe someday you can write an erotic play for us to enact if you know what I'm talking about. We all know, Polly. But sure. Six skills in fanfic writing, the obscure skill for impressing your classmates. Here you go. Plus two smarts, plus one boldness for you. Don't use each other's love and trust that way. 
I worry about you, Mary. I really, really do. I just desperately want to know what happens next with Dragon. Do you think Carol is capable of being so insecure? I'm sure I'd have a tape side. Let's look at Damien's Tinder messages to see what he's capable of, shall we? Oof. Harold may or may not be a scoundrel, but love is alive and well. Let me take both of you on the greatest three-way first date ever. I mean, I'm pretty bold, but I don't know if I'm that far. Oh, wow. A, a date in the midst of a school day? Why, my duty or responsibility of reading exam and my heart says yes. I have a midterm and I'm just through a class and it's better than that. Oh, huzzah, I do love being courted. Let us flee to the absolutely most romantic day that has ever happened to me ever. Yay! That's a high bar. Luckily, you're a romance expert having spent literally all your school days planning for prom, which is a simple, which is a single night of the year instead of paying attention to the studies that might benefit you later in life. Show up with chocolate flowers, a bevy of marriage slurs, a pack of matches, and a gallon of gas up Damien. All three of you go to an absolutely splendid date during which Damien only commits a few murders to gain plus one to the fuck and plus one charm. I don't know what my stats are right now. There's that. Oh, there she is. We made no lunch money from the business of someone who killed the person. Folks do business. Psst. Hey, how would you like to turn against your friends in exchange for forbidden knowledge? Betraying your friends sounds bad, but forbidden knowledge sounds dope. You listen to a bitch. Basically, I just needed you to tell me Damien and Liam's hidden weakness for like totally innocent reasons. And in exchange, I'll teach you one of the secret slave techniques. What's that you say? You can totally do it, and I can trust you? Say 100%? Great, which techniques do you want to learn? You can tell the Slayer that Liam's weakness is being ignored at the end of his ice cream cake. Really? But that's so simple. I'll bury them in indifference and frozen treats respectively. Oh, you want to know my secret technique? It's simple. Just act like you're entitled to everyone's love and affection and constantly make the decisions that need you and your friends. Oh, that's it? We already do these things, like, all the time. It's possible that you've been the protagonist all along. This discovery gives you without confidence, which you used to punch the Slayer into the neck and steal her shoes! And the protagonist of your own life being plus four charm? What a dick! Alright, we're very bold, we're very charming. I'm not creative enough for this. 
Yeah, yeah. weapons are fun. Liam opens the back metal. Come on, Brian. Amazing three fan fake magic. Oh, dang, you never find it. Ah, you're very close. Liam's got reserve. Liam's got friend. Very cool, very nice. And they very cool, very nice. And everyone's like, hey, Liam's got friend. Really cool, very nice. <laughs> we should make the work king. And so Liam has got friend. We're the king's dragon. He went to the kingdom because they were the most very cool, very nice in the kingdom. Uh, then everyone became centaurs and they had centaur sex. Now you're just starting past the huge space of centaur sex. It's perfect, right, Liam? I like the part where you said they were very cool, very nice. It's so not perfect, Scott. And also, you can't use centaur. You can't use centaurification, which is cause. Centaurification is a very delicate band and tool that needs to be used under the right circumstances. I think Brian was just trying to fool us and he was trying to dirty centrifugation if you think. So not cool. Oh, he almost fooled me by saying we're very cool and very nice. That was very not cool and very not nice. Very not cool and very not nice indeed, my dear Scott. I always have to turn simplification with anxiety. <laughs> I lost my nice two channel ones. I have no friends. I don't know who to ask. I'm very bold. And I'm very charming. But I'm not very fun. I need to think through more strategically about how I'm going to romance. Switch to a totally different game. But I hope you guys enjoyed the stream, and I'll see you guys next time.